Hey everybody, Robbie Pruitt here with Antler King. Well, we're back again. I got Mr. Don Kiske with Whitetail Freaks. He's gonna be answering a few questions here for us. Don, the thing that a lot of people get with me and talk to me about is how do you get to and from your blind uh, when you're hunting over a food plot or a tree stand, whichever. For me, for years, I hunted out of tree stands overlooking one of my food plots, my Antler King food plots, and I found more that I was pushing deer away, especially trying to get out in the evening. Uh, and I was doing more harm than I was good. So I, I kind of went back into, I'm hunting back in the woods, kind of tra their travel corridor from bed to food. Uh, I know you do a lot with blinds and corn. What, what do you do there? That's a great point because for years I was doing the same thing. When you hunt food out of a tree stand, you got to get out of the tree. You have to. And if you can't get in and out without deer being seen, yep without deer seeing you, then you're, you done messed your old tree up. Absolutely. Your whole setup is screwed, right. <laughs> basically. Yep, that's true. <clears throat> so, but here lately, in the last, what, 15 years, we got this idea to go into the standing corn yep. with our green plots, you know, around the plot, mm -hmm. to brush the blind into the standing corn. When you walk into the corn through the rows, you can literally, we've got into the blind with deer at 10 yards before us, 15 yep. yards. Yep. And I'm talking late season, sometimes 30 and 40, 50 deer out there. That's crazy. So we can repeatedly hunt that blind in and out and never spook a deer. And that's why they're so effective. Wow. It's because you're not spooking nothing in and out. Mm. So it's just an extremely great way to hunt. Now, it's not the funnest way. I'd rather be in a tree. Oh, absolutely. Me too. You know, yeah. that's yeah. the real honey. You to hear the deer and rattle them in and get, get all the good footage like that. Yep. But as far as effectiveness, yeah. it's unbelievable what you can do over food with those blinds in the corn. Absolutely. Well, and you know, if you think about it, you know, like for me, I have a property that I don't have agriculture on my property that I can do that. Right. But sitting here thinking about what you're doing, you could actually do the same thing in a food plot with our barricade mix. Great point. Plant our barricade up and across it, put your blind in it, and you can still sneak in and out of it from behind. Absolutely. And then you're, I, that's this one that came to me. That's a perfect way to do it. I'm going to have to try that this year. Why haven't I thought of that already? I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that's a million dollar idea right there. Yeah. So. I've always thought I had to have standing corn. In a lot of these places, yeah. you know, the corn's not going to make. You don't have good enough soil. Yeah. But that barricade will make. Yeah, it will. So, that, see there, we just learned something. There, right? we both just learned something there. <laughs> that's why we're doing them. You so. watch me next year. I'll be having my blind <laughs> in the barricade. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a good day. We'll see you next week.